So how about you in the zoom? Yes, sir. You can see that this uh, living body is not the dead body. By the way, it is living body. You can see him? Yes, sir. Good. On the head region, you can see precisely. This is actually thoda. Now you can see precisely, I believe, right? Okay. So, aap log idhar a jaiye so that yeah, Shweta niyo bani, neeta gnoor bodh kare. Now we are talking about the dermatomyotome, right? Now, based on that perspective, we would like to understand there are the totally the Huato Chiaji identified from the T1 to L5 level. T5 to L5 level, totally he identified the 17 acupuncture points on the one side, the other side is 17 acupuncture points. Collectively, there are 34 acupuncture points. So now, here I wanted to add up cervical vertebra, also Huato Chiachi points, because we should respect his name and also he identified that so that to be given the extraordinary points to the on the cervical region from the C1 to C7 as well but basically we will start from the C2 that always is good rather than C1 C1 is communicating from the medulla oblongata directly where the atlas bone is there superior to the atlas to be known as a C1 and distal to the atlas to be known as a C2 so we wanted to start from the C2 direction that's always is good now we understand before going to the needling you focus from this direction to this direction where the origin of the C1 where is the ending of the C7 because totally there are the seven vertebras or the seven bones are here but the nerves are eight so now we forget about that but we understand where the origin of the C1 to C7 that we try to find out. You just give the pressure, bring down from here to here then you can find there is the hollow depression. This hollow depression is this is the occipital protuberance here. From here you just come down where this is the posterior hairline. The posterior hairline is slightly above to be known as a C1. The posterior hairline to the above half tune above to be known as a C1. Right. From the C1 here, again you just go to down C2. Here there is no vertebra here. Atlas and axis bone is there. Then you just come down. The vertebra starts from the C3. Then you come down C4. Then press and feel C4, C5. Then again you just come down C6 because vertebra is getting larger. Then you come to the C7. Now we wanted to know where exactly is the C7. For that we don't know. This is because of the, the muscles are more predominant. Then we ask them to move the head on the right and left direction to understand the C7. C1 to C7. C6 vertebras will change. C7 vertebra doesn't change. And T1 of course that is fixed. So now you just change the position right and left. Yes. Again you just change. <coughs> yes. From here, yeah. Uh, place it down. I identified this is the C7. So till here is the C7. Once you change. Once you turn from here to here, this is one identification. The second identification, if you can't understand, so that time, which is the prominent bone, which is the biggest bone on the cervical region, that is the pop-up. You look at about the face. On the face, there is a prominent king is there, that's called as a nose. Nose is, is the tip we can consider that is the extreme prominent part of the face region. Likewise, the C7 also like a nose. On this exactly we can find out this is the C7 vertebra. Now from here to here, I wanted to divide it into 7 segments. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Likewise, we even we can mark it like this so we can understand we just uh, make it understand this is C7. Right. 
red color is there that's a good this is c7 this is c6 this is c5 this is c4 this is c3 this is c2 this is c1 <coughs> 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 vertebras right <coughs> now we wanted to use if there is a problem on the head and neck region then we will follow c1 c2 c3 till the neck region it covers till the neck region it covers c1 c2 c3 now the problem is in the headache or the cervical pain or there is a problem on the neck region then certainly we just apply now here is the very very important these points are should be very careful this is on the spine points this area to be known as a zero area this entire line to be known as a zero meridian or the two my or the du meridian right or the governing vessel meridian but we are not applying on the governing vessel meridian but we are focusing to treat for the spinal nerves so therefore we we are activating to the half tune lateral lateral right lateral or the left lateral it is recommended to use the points next to these points now for example i wanted to use on the head and neck region i just inserting the half tune needle half tune lateral right further i just move on to this again i am just inserting the needle half tune lateral when I wanted to use the other needles, this always I use the single use sterilized steel needles. I just insert the one more needle half chun lateral. Half chun lateral to the lower border of the spinous process of the each vertebra. Now this is the from here okay. Now the vertebra is slightly larger. Now the lower border of the spinous process. But sir accurately wanted to know we may do a mistake little here and there. We try to find out the vertebra and then apply below that. Apply just below that. Now I found that here is more muscles are there. But just I am showing you. Now we applied on the lower border of the spinous process of the vertebra. Now again so on we just continue this. So bilaterally also recommended. So now I just inserting on this direction. And just inserting to the other direction. And further applying to the c7 vertebra in one line now i wanted to tell you bilaterally if the patient is complaining there is a numbness if really there is a numbness is there so that time the nerve is affected so now we try to find out are you feeling natranj yes. are you feeling the sensation yes. now there is no nerve impeachment on this region there is no nerve problem if the patient feel that he don't feel for example uh, neuropathy condition is there that time he doesn't feel any sensation then with the cotton wool i have used then i wanted to use with the hard object are you feeling yes sir he is feeling is a feeling indicating that of course he have the sensation if diabetes patient or any other now related problem cervical spondylosis that time there is the nerves are affected so that time the patient doesn't feel any kind of the sensation that indicating that nerves are affected that time certainly we can use all these points which area is affected that particular area needling to be done if the patient he don't have any problem related to the related to the nerve problem then he do have the muscular problem the pain related condition if the pain is there you need not to take the sensation like this not required but however the pain he is explaining i do have the pain on my shoulder region <coughs> that time we try to apply the points which is connected to the shoulder now i'll give you example now this is the c1 c2 c3 we applied this is for the occipital now this also for the 
neck related nerves which is communicating from the right and left this will work for the c1 c1 c2 c3 nerves whereas in come to the c4 level c3 and then c4 level nerves which is communicating to the phrenic nerve is the one of the biggest nerve as well so phrenic nerve is communicating to the lungs and then heart and also abdominal organs so diaphragm muscles when the patient is complaining i do have the shortness of breath and breathlessness that particular time we understand oh there is a lungs problem then we try to focus only by using the t3 only lungs is affected apply t3 thoracic 3 this is the posterior side of the lungs we think about it but beyond that limitation now there is a phrenic now from the c3 c4 and that level c5 till that the phrenic now starts from here and then communicating to the deeper level of the internal organs so when the patient is complaining the shortness of breath or breathlessness that particular situation also recommended to use this the points are really good now the patient is complaining about the pain on the shoulder region right shoulder region that time we try to focus and apply on the right side only recommended not required bilaterally if you wanted to use bilaterally also recommended but however if the one side is there one side also quite enough now if i wanted to use the pain on this shoulder region on this region that indicating till the anterior deltoid muscles where the end of the deltoid muscles so till that the patient having the pain that's indicating there is the musculocutaneous nerve is affected then you focus and treat activate from here so we do the stimulation so this is the stimulation of the manual stimulation continuously we can stimulate so that will be regulating the musculocutaneous now when the patient is complaining i do have the pain on my elbow region and also the interosseous muscles of the hand that time we just activate activate on the other now so we just apply on the c6 level this area is C6. This area is C5. Then you just come down. So if there is the nerve is affected, is the radial nerve that to be known as a C6. When the C6, you understand when the patient is complaining about the pain on the pain on these two fingers. Remember this entire area, interosseous muscles, extensor muscles. If the pain is on the thumb and then index finger then we try to apply the needle on the c6 area is good c6 area is recommended that is the just below the c6 vertebra then the patient is complaining about the only one middle finger having the problem then you understand the c7 is applicable c7 when the patient is complaining i do have the numbness or the pain indicating when there is the numbness is there the numbness indicating the dermatome and there is a pain is there pain is indicating to the myotome so therefore you just understand this is the c7 now this is the pinky finger is affected i am just inserting the needle is t1 you try to find out there is a t1 vertebra there we just applied to activate this two nerves so this now this is the radial now this is the radial now this is the median now this is the ulnar now this is the musculocutaneous now this is the phrenic now now we integratively treated this and this is the lungs and large intestine meridian to be known as a this is the radial meridian and this is the pericardium meridian to be known as a median meridian and then these two fingers to be known as a ulnar meridian right so now so far we bilaterally we wanted to use we can use it or now we have completed the upper extremities now <coughs> sorry head and neck related disorders can be treatable by activating as i told you c1 c2 c3 
Till here, you understand all the head and neck related disorders can be treatable. By the way, you wanted to use as a is the scalp acupuncture or the gallbladder meridian points and then swan loo and swan lee that is GB5 and then GB6. Both the points are recommended if you use these three points along with that GB5 and GB6 you activate that you are treating as a crani cranio acupuncture. You are treating as as a neuroacupuncture so that something is amazing right now you integratedly done if this procedure is over this procedure is over i hope so the patient certainly feel the lot of changes the person who is suffering for the all the head and neck related disorders mind related disorders schizophrenia or something is the mania or the anxiety and depression so many things is incorporated certainly sometimes the patient feel lot of changes but for them used to that they have the issues several years they do have the problem that's the reason it takes us a longer time but in the acute stages definitely patient comes to us we have the solutions in order to get into this kind of the modalities now hopefully we completed on the cervical region <coughs> anyone having the doubts on it